2626. Do it now. This has been the Next Generation in Futures, brought to you by ANCO Discount Futures. The preceding was a paid commercial program. Do you realize that there are hundreds of rapidly growing companies in America today? You'll find them in Investor's Business Daily. And by calling now, you'll receive the video cassette, The Real Secrets to Making Money, with William J. O'Neill. And you get it free by calling Investor's Business Daily. Call now and get two free weeks of Investor's Business Daily, plus the free gift, all with no obligation. Get your free subscription and video by calling 800-253-8015. Do it now. TV Los Angeles. And now, this is Channel 22 Business News. And good afternoon to you. The time now 12.30. This is Channel 22 Business News at the bottom of the hour. I'm Laura Gregory. And stocks are a little changed again, still. Pretty familiar pattern by now. The NASDAQ is working its way higher, however, further into uncharted territory. This, after closing at a record for the fourth straight session yesterday, looks like the NASDAQ is well on its way to doing that once again. Higher by a solid 15 points at this hour, even as the Dow stocks are down about eight. Modest weakness seen in the bond market today. The price of the 30-year Treasury right now down about six ticks. We're yielding 6.49%. Yields on three-year Treasury notes fell in today's auction to the lowest level in six months. The bond market not responding really one way or the other. It's been weak all day long. Average yield was 6.041 percent. That's down from 6.438 percent at the last auction on May 6th. It's also the lowest rate since three-year notes sold for 5.997 percent on February 11th. Total of $16 billion in notes were sold out of bids that came to $39.3 billion. Tomorrow, the Treasury is auctioning off $12 billion in 10-year notes. This is the second tranche in its $38 billion refunding. Index of leading economic indicators unchanged for the month of June. Analysts were looking for a stronger showing, somewhere between one-tenth and four-tenths of one percent higher, as a matter of fact. Conference board compiles this report, and they're saying that five out of ten of their indicators rose for the month of June. Also, just recently out, adjusted retail sales going up by three-tenths of one percent in July versus August. According to Red Book Research, that's up three-tenths of one percent. You may recall earlier in the day we've been reporting the chain store sales went up by a half a percent in the week that ended on August 2nd from the prior week, and that was according to BTM Schroeder's in their weekly chain store sales index. The preceding was a paid commercial program. No responsibility by the station is assumed for inaccuracies. No statements made on the preceding program are to be construed as recommendations by this station, nor does this station necessarily endorse the product, services, opinions, or information presented. This is KWHY-TV, Channel 22 in Los Angeles, serving all of Southern California and in Santa Barbara on KWHY-LP-TV, Channel 65. KWHY-TV, Channel 22 in Los Angeles, serving all of Southern California and in Santa Barbara on KWHY-LP-TV, Channel 65. This concludes our English portion broadcast for this time period. Este es el Canal 22, sirviendo a toda la comunidad latina del sur de California. Aquí concluimos con nuestra programación en inglés. A continuación, ahora disfrute de nuestra super programación en español. Aquí, en su canal 22. El siguiente es un programa comercial pagado.